Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in gorgeous Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Vintage Cruiser 23 RSS. This is a great smaller travel trailer. Yeah, as you can tell, it has the vintage look, but it has all the modern amenities, including a slide. This is one of the only old style looking trailers with a slide. So why don't you go ahead and take a tour with me here. We'll start up front, make our way around, and then we'll head on in. Right up front here is the power tongue jack. This does make it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. All you have to do is just touch a button. That will raise and lower your tongue. Also, there is a light right up front here, so if you're hooking up or disconnecting at, light, at night, you can go ahead and turn that on. That'll just give you some added visibility. Right behind that's your propane tank cover. Very easy to access the tanks. Just undo your two thumb screws right here, lift up the door, and that will give you access to your two 20-pound tanks. Then behind the propane tank cover, we have rails for the battery. If you take a look right underneath that, you'll see a tube. That is for your sewer hose. Uh, this unit doesn't have a traditional bumper where you would store it, so instead, they went ahead and mounted it right up here for you. Also, you'll see diamond plating coming right up the front. That helps protect the front end from any rocks or debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. The cool thing about this too, this fiberglass right here, it's a one-piece fiberglass roof. This piece goes up and all the way over the roof and then back down. Uh, so the big advantage of that, there's a couple different things. One, it's less chance for any kind of water intrusion because there are less seams. You know, the more seams and holes you put in the roof, the more things you have to try to protect from against from water getting in. Uh, but also, the natural curvature of it, I mean, if you can see, it naturally kind of curves, so the water's gonna run to the front and back rather than right down on your campsite and again because there's less seams less chance for water intrusion definitely a big advantage uh, on the far side there you also see an additional light so again if you are hooking up or disconnecting at night you can use that as well coming around to the side here one of the first things you'll notice again as I said this may look uh, older it has that vintage look but it has the modern amenities you can see right there it is prepped for ZAMP solar so if you do want solar you can go ahead and buy the panels plug it in it's all hooked up so it will start to trickle charge your battery. The pass through, you'll notice the hinge is covered on here, which is nice. So you don't get rust coming all down your door. Slam latch baggage doors, and it's also magnetic. So very easy, you put it up just like that. That way you can go ahead and access your compartment inside. Uh, you can take a look in there, you see it is nice and large. So if you do have uh, some bigger items that you have to stuff in here, like a grill, you can go ahead and fit it right in there power awning on here. So again, you know, older look, not only do you have a power tongue jack, you have a power awning. This makes things extremely easy for setting up. It's not you know, like your bag awning like you see on a lot of the older style ones. So this, you just touch a button, it rolls out. Same thing to roll back in. You can notice the LED light strip underneath, so you don't have to get up there and hang up Christmas lights. It already comes with them. And right in the heads of the awning are your speakers. So just uh, as the, the cool thing about that is when your awning is extended, the speakers will be playing music down on your campsite instead of blasting out at your neighbor. Now those are controlled by the multimedia center inside, however it is Bluetooth capable. So what you can do is use your smartphone or tablet, go ahead and connect to your multimedia center via Bluetooth, sit right out here underneath your awning and be able to control your music from your uh, cellular device. Right here, this is uh, your bracket for a TV. So the way this one works, inside you'll see more of these brackets. That way you can move the TV anywhere. So you can go ahead and uh, take the TV out, bring it right outside here, drop it in this bracket, and now you can watch TV while you're outside. When you're done, take it off, bring it right back in so you can watch a movie before bed or whatever else you wanna do. But that just gives you a lot of versatility there. Also, you'll see your TV hookups. You have your uh, cable or antenna right there, electrical outlet, that way you can plug the TV in or whatever else you need to plug in. If you need to, you know, plug in a, a toaster, electric griddle, whatever you want for cooking breakfast out here, you can go ahead and use it for that as well. Uh, take a look at the, the rims on here. I think this is really cool. You know, they made it color match, again, kind of helping it give it that old look. It's also the uh, nitrogen filled tires, and you'll see right in between, you also have the Equiflex suspension in there, which helps take a lot of the, uh, you know, a lot of the potholes and stuff out, gives it a smoother ride. Uh, you'll notice this one is also a double axle. It's not a single axle, meaning you'll get a better tow with this uh, unit as well. Let's go ahead and come around to the back here. You can see uh, getting into the coach is nice and easy. You only have one step, but that's really all you need. It's a low profile coach built that way. It's lightweight, you know, and so the, the keeping it lower profile means less resistance from wind, making it easier to tow. 
Here is obviously the back of the camper. You do have a window on the back. I really like that. Not only because it lets in a lot of natural light, but if you do have a really nice view out the back, if you're able to you know, back into lakefront or ocean view, you are uh, easily able to enjoy that. Also, again, if you take a look at the roof, you can see how there aren't any seams. It just rolls right down. This is the same piece that is on the roof and on the front, so really neat. So we come around to the off-door side, a couple quick things. As I mentioned, right here is your slide. How cool is that? A vintage trailer with a slide really opens it up. Uh, we'll see that more when we go inside. Detachable 30 amp power cord right here. Uh, detachable power cords are nice because they don't have a big hole in your unit, you know, where you have to stick your cord. Uh, so less chance for any kind of mice or ants or anything to crawl up in there. Also, cable and satellite hookups here. And then in front of the slide, you have a spray port and a black tank tank flush as well. All right, I know it's great on the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Vintage Cruiser 23 RSS. This particular model is in the turquoise interior. As you can see, it is nice and spacious in here. That is due to a slide out. Again, you don't see that. You have the vintage look with a slide out. And that's the thing I love about the Vintage Cruiser series is you have all the modern amenities. Let's go ahead and start off right over here in the kitchen though. Uh, not a huge countertop, but they did utilize it to the best by giving you both a cooktop cover and dual sink top covers. You'll see the cooktop cover here does uh, it does fold up, lifts up. You have a three burner cooktop there. Stainless steel top, stainless steel cover, stainless front just gives it a really great look. Also if you do want to uh, do any kind of baking you can see you have the oven there in which you can do so. Both these sink top covers are cutting board quality, so if you want to flip them over, use them as a cutting board, you can certainly do so, and then just flip them back when you're done. Uh, the reason I say to flip them over is because that way all your cut marks and everything are on the bottom, so when you put it back, it still looks like it's brand new. But double bowl sink does make it nice and easy to wash or rinse any dishes there. Uh, larger bowl on the left, smaller one here on the right, and the high rise faucet uh, aids in doing dishes as well. Underneath here, you see two uh, full extension drawers there, which is nice, so that way you have spot for your silverware. Uh, some of your larger items can go down here if you have spatulas uh, and again other larger serving utensils. Window right here is nice too, lets in a lot of natural light during the day. Then at night you'll see you have LED light. Uh, you actually have LED lights throughout. LED lights are great because they use a fraction of the power and don't put out near the heat. Stainless steel cooktop up here as well with both a light and a fan on it. Microwave right up top and then good storage over here to the side. As we make our way back a little bit to the back here, you'll see this unit is a rear dinette, which is great. Um, I really kind of like rear dinette because you can see you have windows all around. And as I mentioned, if you do have the, the nice view out the back, this is perfect. You can sit here, you know, enjoy your uh, breakfast, have a morning cup of coffee, be able to look out the back and really truly enjoy that. Uh, you'll see the, you know, kind of the look they have here with like the postcards going all the way around. I think that's kind of cool too. Uh, we'll see that as we go throughout the camper. Good storage up top here you can take a look right there the other thing I like is that this these are wide doors up here which is nice so if you have bigger items like board games I personally like to bring a lot of board games when I camp uh, you know it is big enough that you can go ahead and fit those in there then right in the center here is the multimedia center uh, as I did mention earlier this unit uh, controls the speakers outside it's also radio CD and DVD player so if you do want to watch a movie you can pop it in right here and I'll show you a little bit later you can see the connections over there by the TV um, lights right up top and then this dinette does drop down into a bed so if you do need additional sleeping space you'll see the rails right along here table drops down it can sit right on top there and that way it will create the extra bed space also if you notice underneath you can see an electrical outlet so if you need to do any kind of work you need to plug in a tablet or laptop you can go ahead and do so while sitting at the dinette now right over here, this is what makes the 23 RSS what it is, and that is you get the slide out. So an uh, awesome sofa slide out here gives you another place to sit, which I really enjoy, um, you know, because if you do have any guests over, you have extra place they can sit, another place to sit and relax, which is great. And this also becomes sleeping space. This is a jackknife sofa, so it just lifts up, drops right down just like so. Uh, now it's not a huge bed, it's not very long, so you know, if you're an adult, you'll probably have to curl up into a ball, but it is a great space 
space for kids. If you have a dog that comes with you and you want a dog bed, makes a great dog bed. Or if you have a pack and play, if you have really little ones, you can set a pack and play up on here too. So uh, I love having this extra space, the extra, like I said, the extra seating area. And if nothing else, again, you know, having the slide come out, giving you the extra space in here definitely makes it worth it. Also, you'll see the additional storage in the corners right up here. So a nice little uh, extra storage compartment there. Then over here, as I mentioned, this is your TV. So here's your connections, uh, your audio video connections, which hook up into the DVD player. Of course, TV and uh, satellite hookups there, and then electrical outlet. And then this, so this whole swing arm comes right out. This is what I was talking about, that you can take this outside. So when the TV's on here, you just lift it right up and out, take this whole thing outside. This goes into the same bracket that is outside. Uh, you'll see a couple of these. There's one here, one outside. There's also one in the bedroom. So a uh, really neat system that gives you a lot of versatility. Now the last part of the kitchen is right over here. This is the fridge freezer combo. Uh, again, it has the turquoise panels on there, which I think is really cool. But you can take a look right in there, plenty of space, uh, you know, six cubic foot. You can see the cutout there. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. So if you are running it off propane, as soon as you plug that into shore power, it'll automatically switch it over to electric for you, saving you on the propane gas. Now, as we step back, we come into the bathroom. One quick thing I wanna show you though that's really neat, for extra privacy, you have a curtain right here that closes off into the bedroom, but also this door opens all the way up and there's a lock here, so that way you can't get in. Uh, so that definitely provides some extra privacy in the bathroom space, which is really neat. As we come on in, uh, if you take a, take a look, right over here you see mirrored medicine cabinet, right down below here is the sink, some extra storage there underneath as well. The other half of our bathroom, you'll notice right here is the toilet, uh, comfort height, so it is nice and easy to get on and off. And then right up top, you'll notice you also have a larger than normal fan. Uh, over to the side, big skylight up on top of the shower. Curved shower bar as well, which is great, makes it feel nice and spacious. Uh, you'll see you have some shelving here in the shower, hand wand, and I like the fact it's a tub. So if you do have kids, it's nice and easy to go ahead and give them a bath if they're not quite old enough for a shower yet. Then as you move into the bedroom space, uh, this is your queen bed. Again, the bedspread here kind of matches the, the walls, just cool, has a postcard look. And then take a look at this, large, easy access storage underneath. You can see it is on struts. Your fresh water tank is in here. This is for your spray port outside. The other cool thing is your spare tire is actually mounted right there. So that way it is extremely easy to access. You know that if you ever do have to use it, it's in good shape. It's not outside getting beat up by the elements. Uh, so I do like the fact that they put that in there. Then this bed is nice and comfortable. You can see, you know, it's not super stiff like a lot of beds. So you, you know, will get a decent night's sleep on here, which is cool. Uh, you know, if you want to stay up and read a book at night, you can certainly do that as well. You can see the reading lights here. They have two modes. You can either have it as a reading light like it is right now, or if you look over at the other one, you'll see it is kind of a blue accent light, which is kind of neat too. Both sides, you have good storage here. You can see the hanging rods. So that way, if you need to hang up some clothes, you can go ahead and do so. Uh, shelf space underneath and then space or uh, extra storage space here right across the top. Lastly, you do have a vent up top and over on the other wall is another hookup for a TV. Uh, as I mentioned, you know, you can do the same thing. Go ahead and take the TV on the arm mount and drop it right down in there. But all right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Vintage Cruiser uh, 23 RSS. This is a great uh, floor plan. If you're looking for, you know, if you want that vintage look, but you want all the modern amenities, you know, if you're looking for the power tongue jack and power awning that really make camping easy, and you, again, you love that old look, but you want a slide, you want that extra room, this is the perfect model for you. If you are interested and you're looking for price and availability, you can either give myself Ian Baker a call here at American RV or you can take a look at our website which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also if you enjoyed this tour make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel that will be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching I'm Ian Baker and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.